What's up guys? You know the drill already, right? Of course you do. Let's get right into it. So with Meta Knight, you have to keep in mind that this is a character that kind of wants you to swing so you can get, oh, well, swing with laggy moves so he can punish you. Because he's fast on the ground and he has a pretty good dash attack, good dash grab. He's also small, so hard to hit him with like a lot of aerials. But he doesn't have much range, so if you have really safe pokes and projectiles, it's hard for him to get past that. However, all of the specials except up B can be used as approaches that are pretty laggy except under certain circumstances. A pretty good opening up and press too many buttons. Neutral B just travels far and fast, but unless he does it from like a really high height like this, it has a lot of landing lag. I think like I know like a certain auto cancel height that's like really good to go at that I can't do exactly. It's like that, yeah. Down B. If you do this version, it's lagless. If he does the attack, though, it's very laggy. And then side B. Pretty laggy unless he bounces on the ground so I can do it first time. It does like that. So you have to keep in mind, like, if he's going for these, like, ways to mix up those moves. And that those moves are very hard to challenge, so they punish you swinging. And finally, when he's jumping around, because he has multi-jumps, if you swing too aggressively, you're going to get baited out by multi-jump. And then get punished, potentially. Depends on your character, really. Just be careful of overswinging versus this character. Use your safe pokes and your projectiles and really bait him into overextending because he does have a lot of trouble opening people up if their defense is on point. So when you're fighting Dark Pit, you have to treat his neutral air kind of like a less rewarding but better Palutena air. Comes out fast, pretty big hitbox, not too much lag, so it's pretty safe. You can also take dragon and stuff with it. It's just a really good move that I don't know, when I play this character, it kind of controls neutral. And so, in order to deal with this move, you beat it like you'd beat a Palinair, which for a lot of characters is either challenging it if you have like a sword, you just have to go and challenge him when he's going to do this move, or you have to whiff punish, right? Because when I do this move, it's a long lasting move, so it's a lengthy animation you can punish. Even I like fastball it, it's pretty lengthy, and added to the fact that Pit's jump is very slow, he is really committed to this move. So if you have his range, you should be able to consistently punish it on reaction, you just gotta be like on point with most characters anyway. And honestly, even if it hits you, it's okay. He's not, his damage output's pretty low. His kill power could sometimes be lacking. He doesn't land like his kind of hard to land like uh, forward smashes, back airs, up smashes. So really it's okay to get hit by him in neutral. But you have to accept that you're gonna lose neutral a bit and that's okay, happens. When you're fighting Zero Suit, this character right here, oh, this character. The thing about this character is she wants you to chase her. When she's jumping around doing like this and like this and blah 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 blah, she's being zero. She's so a this character, by the way. She wants you to chase over like aggressively, right? Because this move is just get out of jail, uh, get out of jail free card. And if you chase her too much, suddenly she's mid sage in the corner. However, she doesn't open people up that well. Like we all know, like you know, her grab is committal, not that rewarding. Struggles with shielding. Struggles with short characters and people just on the ground in general because like even though this is a good zoning tool It leaves it very open if she gets even slightly predictable with this and like when you block this move It's your chance to kind of take space And if she's in this position right here, it can be hard for her. If you're like ready for the down B You can really just look to call her out when she jumps while abusing the fact that her ground options While they can burst you down Are also a high risk low reward so really, let her expose herself and wait for the opening to pressure when she gets predictable or reactable. Or she just doesn't have options because she's like in the corner and you're reacting to down bees. So with Wario, the thing about this character is you have to pressure him before about 55 seconds when he gets like his half charge waft. And I think it's 55 seconds, not a full minute. I could be wrong on that. The point is you want to actually pressure him quite a bit before he gets those um, like Waffs charged up because he's not very that scary and also he's a character where you don't want to be shielding that much versus him because he has a lot of safe falling aerial pressure and combos but unless he gets like point blank rising there he actually has a lot of trouble getting big damage going like rising forward air especially at low percents isn't going to lead to much his rising aerials don't lead to too much honestly so you want to make sure like you're forcing to use a lot of those he obviously doesn't have much range so he relies on with punishing but if you like swinging very smartly with like a lot of retreating aerials, falling aerials. He can't really get in too well, so you want to really exploit just like how much he wants falling aerials to get things going. And of course, when it's like about a minute on the off timer, you want to play more passive. Doesn't mean you don't just like fight him sometimes, of course, but you don't want to like push as aggressively as you were until the two minute mark 
where he has full waft again because when he has full waft, it is a lot higher startup than half waft. So you can't combo into it nearly as well. Like, unless you're DIing his stuff really poorly, you're getting caught by certain things. Yeah, it's just a lot of warrior players kind of want to burn the waft before full waft. And at that point, they're kind of looking for hard reads, parries, bike setups, or certain combo starters, like you're not DIing it up till at mid percents type of stuff. When you fight Snake, if he doesn't cook the grenades, throw them back at him. Because once he has to deal with a grenade in his face, it limits his options heavily. Right, like I do this. And now Snake can pull out a grenade, but then his grenade is gonna pop and he can't deal with that. If he jumps around like forward or dashes forward, he either has to jump and dash outside of his grenade range, which makes him very like predictable. Or he has to respect those not attack and it lets you pressure shield. Maybe grab him, maybe throw projectiles, throw aerials. Uh, so many things you can do when he has to shield. And if he decides to retreat, he's giving up stage control, which, you know, just always thinks in this game, right? So make sure to exploit his grenades by throwing them back at him. Whether he's tossing them regularly, whether he's like doing this. Even if you're like this, you can toss it back, right? Another little trick is, I like catching the grenades a lot with like aerials like that, so I can control space with something that's low lag in case he tries to run at me and pick up the grenade. But also, if you look a little bit closer and you know he's gonna throw a grenade, you can dash attack him and maybe pick up the grenade if he does like a fast toss right and hit him with some characters. Or just dash attack in general isn't always a bad way to pick up grenades. And finally, I might be asking, hey, DeBuzz, what about if he's cooking the grenade, right? And in those situations, if you recognize he's cooking the grenade, being aggressive is really good, because when Snake's holding a grenade and cooking it, he can't really do much. Like, he can shield, obviously. So that's why, like, dash grabbing in particular is really good. But, like, if I want to do something like a tilt, I have to do, like... I, I can't, like, do a tilt, right? I can grab, I can shield, I can, like, roll and stuff. But I'm unable to, like, throw out attacks. I can't even, like, Z-drop this until I do something like this, right? And so it's a huge window. To put pressure on him. You know, if he has a cookie, you can do that if you think he's gonna just pull out a grenade and you read it right. But especially when he's cooking it. Because if you grab him while he's cooking the grenade and like get throw armor as it explodes, you can get some big damage really quickly. And just condition Snake really hard to not cook grenades, which makes him 10 times easier to fight. So for Ike, his up yeah showed us his only good answer to heavy pressure that or just jumping away which eh, it's kind of that's like a universal thing as a result ike players are looking for you to mess up and get hit by the similar cloud players right except this move is really punishable if you read this move you can roll behind them with a lot of characters and like charge smash you can just wait out and punish that show with an up smash generally or grab you can also roll back and try and do something so hitting ike shield at ranges he wants to up B and baiting it out is key to fighting him. I mean key because either he does it and you punish it or if he doesn't do it and you read into a habit, you can start pressuring him really aggressively with buttons because otherwise like, what does he have? Like this, like that's too slow, that's too slow. Sure grab is not the worst grab, but it's not good either. And like he doesn't have answers to pressure. The one exception is when he's at the ledge, if he's doing like this, you can't, I'm not sure who can really punish this. This is pretty safe of an option. But the, the compromise for this option is he's at the ledge, and Ike's ledge game isn't good. It's not the worst in the game, but there's nothing special about it either. So you're fine with Ike if he just up to the ledge and has to get off of it. And with that said, guys, you know, like always, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. You know, don't forget to, you know, check out my other content, Medify, Patreon, Twitch channel, you know, like and subscribe, all that fun stuff. And see you in the next one.